What is up, Pit Gang? It's your boy Manny V Gaming coming to you live today. I'm going to be showing you how to edit your videos like a pro, get that YouTube channel nice, crisp, and clean. So let's get started. Today, we're going to be using a free video editing software called Olive. Olive is for the basic if you want to get started, started making your YouTube videos looking nice. Now, once you get further down along the line, I would recommend something like DaVinci. DaVinci is also a free video editor software, but it's more in depth, a little bit more advanced. And once you guys are up to that level, I'm pretty sure you're not going to be needing this video. But hey, you know what? I'm glad you guys are here. So let's go ahead and open up Olive and let's see how this goes. All right, guys. Now, when you open up Olive, this is what you're going to see. Now, I know this looks a little intimidating for the first time YouTuber. You don't know what's what. But by the end of this video, I guarantee you guys this is going to be second nature to you. Now, this right here is the project area. This is where you're going to drag and drop your files, your clips, whatever you want to do, your intro, outro. This is the effects area, also the media viewer for whenever you bring a clip in, it's going to let you see it before you add it into the video if you want to take a look at it, make sure it's nice. And this is the sequence viewer. This is going to be what the video will look like in the end, the end result. But first, let's show you how to import the files into this area to where you can edit and mess around with them. All right, guys, now from here, you're going to want to select file and import. This will let you find the video clips. This is some old footage from World War Z, the video I already released. If you know it, you know it. But if you don't, go ahead and go watch it. But anyways, this is the little clips that I'm going to go ahead and like play around with, show you guys what to do today. So you're going to select these. You're going to press open. These will bring them into the project file to where you can mess with them. As you can see, it'll show you the duration and the rate. These are 30 FPS. I could turn it up to 60, but for namesake, we're just going to keep it that for now. Now, if you guys don't have a screen recorder or a game recorder, I highly recommend OBS Studio. It's free, and I mean, it does good footage. You can't you can't beat it. But let's go ahead and show you guys how to go ahead and drag and drop and start the video. All right, now once you have the video clips here, you can go ahead and select them, and here's the media viewer. It'll show you what it looks like, just like a hard outline of what it'll look like before you edit it. Just to get like the visual of what you're looking at. I don't like it. Right. Right. No, that wasn't me. That was Omega. You fat fuck. <laughs> no, I don't have to remind you guys of that video. If you've seen it, you've seen it. But from here, you're gonna go ahead and select it. You're gonna drag and drop it into the timeline. Now the timeline is where you're gonna do your all your editing. You're adding, taking away sound, adding sound, whatever you want to do. You'll drag and drop. So from here, you'll have your clip up here. This is a sequence viewer, aka what the project will look like at the end of this thing. So. Here you can like scroll forward if you want to add something. Let's see, you can go ahead and look through the whole video. Now usually I would have an intro over here, but I just didn't put it in this video because like I said, we're just going to show you guys how to go ahead and get a video started. Now once you get your intro, you can go ahead and add it to the front. You can go ahead and move this forward, add an intro right here. Actually, you know what? We'll go ahead and import the intro just to show you guys real quick. Now desktop, YouTube shit file, uh, smaller intro. So this is going to be my smaller intro again. It's going to be up here. You're just going to drag and drop. Bring it up here with this. Now, before the video starts, it'll show you like a little intro now. So, I don't like it. there you go. See, so that's how the video will look in the end. I mean, you can bring now, you can auto scale it real quick just so it'll fit the portions. That's how it'll look. All right, now that you guys know how to import video files, I'm going to show you guys how to start editing. Now, on the left side of the screen, you'll see the tools, these are very important for video editing. And we're going to show you guys the basics just to get you started. Now, the first tool we're going to be using is the pointer. This will allow you to move different parts of the video around, separate different parts so you can add in your memes, your sound effects, your intros, outros, whatever you need to. Pointer tool is where it's at. Second tool, the razor. The razor tool allows you to cut and separate different parts of the video so you can add you know, again, memes, sound effects, uh, pictures, whatever you guys want to, that'll allow you to do it. Now, with that said, you don't have to worry about there being some kind of bump or ripple in between these videos because it'll still play out as one solid video. If you guys want to add like a little uh, effect as far as like transitions, you can also do that, like a cross dissolve right here in the second. And you guys don't have to worry about any of this. This is all just, you know, part of it. But anyways. Now, there's a nice <laughs> little cross dissolve. It'll like bring you into the next section of the video. If you guys want to keep that on, you can. But with this separated now, if you guys don't like the audio in this, or if you want to add your own little intro, like you know how I usually do the, this is Manny V Gaming, you know, have a good day or good night, whatever. You guys can add that. Now this is the audio for the file here. 
as you can hear. <laughs> I'm not fat, I'm big bone. You guys, <laughs> that, that still gets me. Anyways, now if you want to remove the audio from this file, what you're going to do is you're going to highlight this section and you're going to select link and unlink. Now what link and unlink does is it links and unlinks the two separate parts of the video, audio and video, so that you can add in your own thing. Now we're going to press link and unlink. We're going to separate the two parts. Now this is a, the audio is its own part. So we can move the audio, erase the audio, shorten the audio, whatever you need to do. I'm going to delete it. So now that you guys can see, there's no audio to this clip. This is where you can do voiceover, uh, narration, whatever you need to do, you can do that. You can also lower the audio if you want to do that too. You have these two sections right here. Again, you're going to grab the razor tool, cut, grab the pointer tool, select these two. And from here, what you'll do is you'll link and unlink. This is its own audio now. Now for this, you can go into effects, and this is the volume. Now, the volume now is set at 0.0, .0 decibels, and that's just the regular audio for any YouTube video. Damn, you hear me? But if you want to, so you can do voiceovers, what you'll do is you'll lower it. And this is to your own liking. You can do as much, like, high, low as you need to, so you can put your own voice in there. Now, on minus 10 decibel, you guys can hear it's a little lower. This is where you'll put your own narration. Now, and to put your own narration in, the tool you're going to be using is called Record. But before you can use Record, you need to save it. Because it'll tell you whenever you try to click it, you must save this project before you can record audio in it. Now, this isn't like going to take off all the progress you have. You're just going to save your project or save project as. And then anywhere you need to, usually I'll just throw it on desktop real quick just so it knows there's a save file. Save it. Now it'll allow you to add your own audio. Now you'll press record audio, and you'll select the area you want to add your own audio in. Mine will be here, and you'll hold. Oh my bad. You'll hold. <laughs> now it's not letting me. You'll hold, and then drag for the amount of length that you want to cover. Now for here, you'll click this button right here. I'm not going to do it because it'll unsync the audio that we have now, but it'll let you record it. Actually, you know what? How's it going, everybody? Manny B. Gaming here. Alright, so now with this, this is your own recording. Again, you can add this to over the voice, like the voices of the game, whatever. How's it going, everybody? Manny B. Gaming here. You see, now it's its own audio, so you can put that over. You can put that in the video, just so you have like a voiceover, narration, whatever you need to do. But again, we're not going to be using that, so we'll go ahead and remove all this. And we'll go ahead and move on to the next section. So now that you guys know how to handle the tools, how to get everything, I'm going to show you guys how to add music or background music to it. Now what you're going to want to do is the exact same. You can import files, uh, non-copyright, whatever you need to do off YouTube, and bring it in. So what you're going to do is the exact same, drag and drop. Now you don't always need all the music, so what you'll do is again select the razor tool, cut off the tail, and delete it. Now let's say, grass last match. The music is a little loud. It covers your gameplay, right? Now what you're going to want to do is select the pointer tool again. You're going to select the music. And again, it's preset at 0.0. .0. Uh, and it's all up to you, your own tastes. Usually I go about 15, minus 15 for background music, minus 16. Now you'll, you'll hear the difference. Grass, last match. You hear how it's like background music now? That's good for like... Intros, outros, you guys want to add a little something extra to the video. That's how you'll do it. And it also works for sound effects. Uh, let's say you want to add the no no sound effect. You'll bring it in. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's the exact same. You'll select it. Now, this works perfect for sound effects. You want to add a slap sound effect, a uh, grenade sound effect, whatever you want to add. <laughs> Now, you see, <laughs> that actually worked out perfect. Now it's like a, a background sound effect, but you can also turn it way up. Next part of the video, I'm going to show you guys how to add in a meme or a small video, like the 10 minutes later, or whatever you want to put in. So let's say, right here. <laughs> now what you're going to want to do, 
is you're going to want to separate the clips to add in the meme video in the middle. So you'll separate with the razor tool. Select this part you want to do. And remember, it doesn't matter where you cut it. It'll always still be one video. You're just adding something and you're not taking anything out. Now let's go ahead and bring in my favorite clip. You guys know I use it a lot. And again, if you want to auto scale it, it'll it'll fix itself. Now. <laughs> what? <Bro>. <laughs> that shit gets me every time. Anyways, that is now the the like the it's its own little video. Now let's say you guys want to add an overlay. A lot of a lot of Twitch users, uh, YouTube users. They add like an overlay. Now what you're going to want to do is download a PNG. This is my own PNG. You guys know my little red dog. I love my pit bulls. You're going to drag and drop over. Now what it'll do is it'll register it a little bit bigger, but this is where this comes into play. You're going to select it. And this is the position, the scaling, all that good stuff. Now position is where it's going to be located on the screen and in the video. And if you want to scale it down. Now this is a PNG file, so it's going to show up. Usually you'll be using this for like watermarks, whatever you need to do, or if you want to add your logo in your video, you can. You know I love my logo, I love my pit bulls. I'm a big dog person, but we're going to go ahead and move it around just to show you guys. You can rotate it, you can move the anchor point, which is this center circle here, but you can move it around freely anyways. Now let's say you want to add that in. So you would, you got to make sure it's a PNG file because that's the only thing that can overlay with it. Usually you can do like overlays on streams, it's the exact same thing. I'll be making another video on that a little bit more into the future. But now when you play the video, it's going to have the little... I'm going to tell you this right now, don't be calling it. Angel whenever you need to get picked up, bitch. <laughs> what? <laughs> God, I love that thing. Anyways, now it's all in this one, one clip. This is the meme, the little PNG overlay whatever you guys want to add all you got to do is drag and drop it's super easy that's why i love all of it. it's good for beginners all right now let's move on to the next part of the video all right so one of the big things i was getting asked was how was i inserting the little videos into my video aka the green screens the effects so what you're going to want to do there's a lot of green screen effects on youtube you can download them directly from there that's what i usually do you'll do the same thing drag and drop now what it'll do is it'll overlay it over the video whenever it comes on it'll show like this as a full video overlay right so what you're going to want to do is you're going to select the green screen part and again you're going to want to position and scale it but first you're going to come over here to the video effects sorry video effects now you're going to go select the video effects and you're going to go into keen now this is the most important thing on these little sections of green screens you're going to come into chroma key now what chroma key allows you to do is turn up and down the background of the green screen so it basically it lowers and raises to the, the tolerance so that you can hide the green screen and just show the thing you're trying to put in now what we're going to do is we're going to lower and higher the tolerance until we find what we're looking for to insert into the video now the usually the higher the tolerance it'll eliminate more of the green screen now i would say about right there maybe a little less because it's starting to cut them off and the upper tolerance is just the visual effects around the guy so now with this you still have the problem of him being directly in the middle of the screen so what you're going to want to do is you're going to come into position and scaling position and scaling basically like shrinks and enlarges the green screen over the video itself so we'll move it around with the positioning up and down and then scaling scaling is what will bring it smaller and bigger now you guys can use this your own way again this is your your own personal preferences you can rotate it usually you'll put it somewhere that looks nice in the video to where it doesn't take up too much space now usually with these half cut off green screens you'll just want to place it on the side Bring it up a little bit right there so now when you play the video you have all this here this is what the video will look like memes and all even with the we'll start from here just to show you the png into the memes into the green screen i'm gonna tell you this right now don't be calling angel whenever you need to get picked up bitch <laughs> Bro, I'm the fucking medic, what do you mean? Exactly, don't be calling me whenever you need to get picked up. 
Oh, poop. You see? So the green, this is super easy, guys. Anybody can do it. Now, with the green screen done, let's move on to the next part of the video. After you guys are done putting all the bells and whistles on your video, you know, you guys have put your intro, your outro. Again, this is all about trial and error, guys. Your first video isn't going to be a banger right out the gate. You guys have to grind that stone and put out good content, and it's not going to happen overnight. You know what I mean? But after you guys are done editing your video, you're happy with it, you think it looks good, you're going to come up to File and Export. Now, I'm not going to export this video just because this is a tester, but the format is going to be MPEG-4 video, and your settings will depend on your PC, what it can and can't handle. Usually my frame rate is 60, but, you know, I dropped it for the video. And then you're going to select Export. Now, what this will do is it will give you a place where you can save it. Usually I save it to Desktop just because it's easier to find. And then once it's fully downloaded or exported, you guys can go ahead and upload it to YouTube. You know, go ahead and get that grind started. But yeah, I hope this helped one of the pig gang out there or anybody that's watching this video. And again, if you guys have any questions, comments, leave them down below. Whatever you guys need help with, man, I got you. And I usually respond pretty quick. I hope you guys have a good day or good night. Good luck with your YouTube career. Manny V Gaming. I mean, it's going to the rules of the game in a coaster. Think you all that up just cause he let a nigga talk, sir. It's like a motherfucking privilege. So don't give a free conversation. Get that bitch on seven digits with the call, yeah.